In this video, I'm taking on Crankworks Rotorua. Hands down, the hardest competition I've ever done. Enjoy. Practice have been cancelled. Definitely the hardest conditions I've ever done a contest in. This is honestly insane. It's the second day of practice. We're supposed to try out the full course today. Yesterday, we didn't get to try out the course because it was too wet. And now the wind, just look at this. No, no, that was stupid. It's pretty safe to say that uh, practice is canceled for now. Hopefully you can ride a bit more in the evening because it's gonna rain tomorrow. It's gonna rain heavily the day after that as well. And then we have the contest on Sunday. No one's tried out the course, we only tried the three last features as you saw in my previous video that I already uploaded, check that one out by the way. I'm just gonna stay optimistic, make the best of every situation we get on course, have a good time, not be angry about the win, like I've, I'm done with that, it's just... But yeah, fuck it, it is what it is. <laughs> look at Paul for example, look how sad he looks on his own in the wind. I can't do double flips, oh no! As you can see, it's freaking pouring down rain, and uh, yeah, practice have been cancelled. Uh, we can't do anything about it because it's actually coming down heavily. I uh, woke up to a massive thunderstorm this morning, and uh, yeah, it's not much to do really. It's a bit of a waiting game. Doing a contest when it ends up being like this, we haven't even tried the course yet, and we're supposed to do a contest in two days. That's quite nerve-wracking and all the, like, the thought processes and everything that we need to go through throughout the week after trying out the course, figure out your run, speeds, everything, that just goes out of the window and we have to just basically wing it. It's nerve-wracking but I've been over this so many times before in my career so I feel like I'm quite relaxed still. We'll see what happens. You just have to stay optimistic, be positive. That's all you can do really. If you're not positive, then negative outcomes will come in your way. <laughs> Bring the gas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. Nice to meet you guys. Good All right, we're currently just checking out the course after the heavy rain last night. It's, uh, what is it, day three of practice. It's Saturday and the contest is supposed to be tomorrow. And we've actually only had two hours of practice so far. On the bottom half, and now it's raining quite heavily again. Perfect. Uh, no one's ridden through the whole course, so it's quite, like it's not looking too good for tomorrow. But if it clears up and we can have one session at least and ride the full course with no issues, we should be able to get prepared to do a run. Maybe not our dream runs. The course builders did an amazing job uh, clearing out the course and making it somewhat rideable. So uh, yeah, it's actually dry, so we're gonna try to ride the whole thing. I'm just gonna warm up with the lower part and then I'm gonna move up actually and ride the whole thing and try out the flat drop for the first time. So yeah, I'll meet you up there. Quite a good uh, practice session. Uh, we didn't really do full runs, but we stopped at the hitching post again. We're still debating if it's gonna be on the course or not. The course builders are gonna do a decision now. We gotta eat for one hour now and do, then do another big session because we need as much practice as we can possibly get. So recharge and send some bangers in the evening. All right, we're heading up for second practice of the day. Uh, had a bit of food, did some chilling. Actually got extremely tired from chilling. I just know that I need to do something to get my adrenaline pumping ASAP. I'm gonna work on this lower part now, try to get some links in. It's 
cool stuff, fill some stuff up. Motherfucker, I've been mortified, fortified, feeling like a Mordecai. I ain't regular, feel like Jordan wearing 45. Traumatized, victimized, seen some of my niggas die. Knock you off a base with a bat when them niggas slide. Homicide, genocide, televised, emphasize, perpetuating war. Tell that nigga he can be inside. Hood ties from hood lines, now niggas doing dope lines. I'm running to the cops, that's a bitch, nigga, exercise. Uh, don't run into the cops, that's the motto. I don't see it coming to an end like Legato. Niggas get chipped like Sakato, send a wave through the hood, now I'm sounding like Verado. Why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying to die shells before I land in our tomato. Singing all my troubles on Apollo, I'm trying to pay the way, but they can't. Alright, that was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible shit. More speed though. Ah, it's too tight. I don't even know why I'm trying to do that because it's too many bar spins for my run, anyways. <laughs> It's just crap. So I should actually change. What about tail bonk two on turn now? Ah, I could no see it, but I feel like I would be the only one doing the back wheel, so maybe I stick to that. I haven't seen anyone else. That was nice. Thank you. Real. So nice. tricky. Was that right? Real nice. Real nice. Real nice. Oh, this I like. I want to work on the top though. I've done 360 on turn on the on the flat drop, but I've been working on a new Nolly three combo that I want to bring to bring to dirt. Never done it to dirt. It's just so scary to do Nolly three. Should be enough grip. Just when we started riding the top bit, I just got to do 1360 and then it started raining again. We got some quality riding done. I think I'm uh, somewhat ready for tomorrow. A few hours of practice tomorrow and I'll be good. I actually feel good and I'm positive, so it should be a good day tomorrow. Uh, it's the morning of uh, finals today. It's uh, 8.30 in the morning, so we got a meeting between 9 and 9.30 and then 9.30 until 2.30 we got practice and then we go. Got a couple of things I need to figure out. I really want to do a nolly thing off the first drop. Hopefully the tires will dry up a little bit so I can finally do it. I'm scared of slipping off with my front wheel and that would be tremendously bad. Feeling good, feeling confident. I'm not as nervous as I usually am. Said that in Australia as well, and Whistler, and the other ones as well. Feeling quite confident. So we're gonna head over to the course and ride bikes. I probably noticed yesterday that it was getting like kind of more wetter and ruttier, like as the more you rode it. I think that's just moisture coming up. Hey, so. Any other questions before we have uh, something special for you guys? What I want you guys to potentially have a think about is all of your family members that aren't here with you today. You know, they might be stuck at home and not able to attend and support you here, but um, know that they support you in your hearts and your minds. I know you guys are competitors, but from what I see on the TV, you love each other as well. And that's, and, and that's the main, main important thing. When, you know, when, when people fall and fail, I've, I've seen you guys pick each other up. Ta! 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 Iki! Iki! E! E! Okay, so Ta! 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 So it's 12.45, contest is supposed to be in, in two hours from now, uh, just started raining again, it's been like going on and off a bit all morning, I don't know, we need at least an hour of uh, sunlight when, after it rains for everything to dry up so we can ride, and then after that we need at least two more hours of warming up for the contest, because I don't know, this is a tough one for sure, I'm sure it's gonna work out somehow, It's gonna they're gonna pull it off and make it happen but it's just I, it's just not ideal when it starts raining over and over and over again what time is it finals in two hours 45 minutes <laughs> it's 
slope in the style. Ah. 2022 slope in the style, huh? No, no gas. Okay. Yeah, I want to try it. But it's not like it's not like that you make the fire in the the hot. See how much freaking work the course builders have to put in. They did this every single day for us to be able to ride. Big shout out to them. Currently three o'clock. The contest is supposed to start at four o'clock. No one's allowed on course yet because it's not open. She's got to make the best out of the situation. Really. It's the same for everyone. We're all nervous. There's a lot of external factors that goes into this contest. Definitely the hardest conditions I've ever done a contest in. Just got to stay motivated, keep my chin up and do some good riding. Currently 4.23, they pushed it even more a little bit so we get at least an hour and a bit of practice. Uh, really worked on the top here and managed to pull off my, my new uh, nollie combo, a nollie three on turn down off the flat crop which is uh, a brand new trick for me and uh, been working on it for quite some time. I was, I was stoked to lay it down to dirt. Beyond stoked, that, like, that's my win for the day. I'm, I'm, I won already in my life for myself. It's 10 minutes left of practice and 15 minutes until the first guy drops for the contest. Definitely not <laughs> fully ready, but I got most of the scary parts away, so I just have to lace my my combos, my actual combos and tricks in the run, which is scary to raw dog tricks that you haven't done in practice in your run. That's like not ideal and it's quite scary, but I think that's just the way I have to do it this time. I've switched up my run three or four times already, so it's not much to do really. I need to take a nervous pee, do one more run, watch the first few boys drop in, and it's fucking go time. <laughs> From raining all day to that, sun, crowd, half done runs, <laughs> but we'll get them. Never heard of a raw dog, this is it. <laughs> this is a raw dog. Great, we good to go. Well, this man returned to the podium at the last stop in Cairns. He hadn't been on it since 2016. Let's see if he can carry that momentum. Wow. Incredibly technical first trick there, Nolly. 360 invert. Let's see what he's got coming through on jump one. Double bars in the back. Look to Tuck No Hander. Up on the wall. Tuck No Hander out. Little nose three. Tail whip in. Tire tap to invert. You can see that personality coming through his run. I love these, these features. Spinning both directions. What's he got on this final jump? The 360 bar to tail whip. That run was spotless. Yeah, super, super clean run. Fingers in the air. You know Max is pumped on that. Yeah, we see him coming in here to the final jump. 360 bar spin. Catches the bars and then kicks the bike all the way around. And watch how he comes in, where he lands. Absolutely perfection. He posted a clip recently and had an audio clip talking about how when you see somebody do something that looks easy, it's not easy. It's a product of a lot of hard work and dedication. And it's paying off right now. What will the score be for Max Fredrickson? The score to... Oh! <laughs> yes. Jump. Here it goes. An 86.5 Max Fredrickson into the lead. <laughs> Oh, 
unbelievably technical run from top to bottom. Awesome, awesome run to see Max nail on his first run. An 86.5, two points higher than the closest rider, David Godzik. I don't know, I did some slip ups, but wow, I was nervous. With the limited practice we've had, it was hard to dial everything in properly, so. I know I can clean up some things and add some new stuff. So hopefully I can hire my score. I want to be in the 90s. Dude, it was fucking sick. We're gonna hit All first rounds are done. Come back here. I'm actually sitting in third place. Stoked. But I want to clean up my stuff. You guys already know that it doesn't matter if I wear the position I am. I just want to get my run as I'm planning and then I'm happy. Sitting in third leading into the second rounds is just a bonus and uh, there's a lot of really really talented and good riders leading up behind me so uh, I doubt I'll sit in third uh, for long but I know I can do more, so hopefully I can bump back up or something. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just gonna have fun, man. Let's go. That's what I'm good for. Holy fuck. Two in a row, huh? So <laughs> You're good at this contest shit, man. Next rider loading up right now, it's gonna be the man who was third place at our last stop in Cairns, Australia, returning to the podium. And that first run was just a display of technicality on another level. He's going to stick with that run. He loves how flawless it was in run number one. Yeah, and to finish out the season with two podium positions is exactly the momentum you need to go into the next season. Fredrickson. Locking up two bronze medals in a row. How about that? Six seasons until he returned to the podium, and now he's done it back-to-back -back events. That's got to feel good. What? Holy fuck, I don't think he hit me yet. Two for two. I think I haven't really realized yet. My last Frankworks for 2022 ended way better than I ever could have imagined. I mean, first Australia, then this. It was just too good to be true, so I couldn't really understand what I actually did. We were saying up top, it would be epic if we shared podium, like Sweden, Alice Sweden. First time. To get on a podium at Frankworks Road River is definitely one of the more special ones for me. This is where I broke my arm back in 2018 and to turn that around into standing on the podium was one of the biggest reliefs I've felt in a while. There's no better feeling than stepping on on that podium. That indescribable feeling came back to me again. <laughs> what happened? I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what to say. It's such a like, I woke up this morning, pouring down rain, on off, on off. Started one hour before the contest, felt like absolute shit. But as I said there, it was the same for everyone. Then we made it happen and all of a sudden I was on the podium. I don't know, like it's so hard for me to... Me and Emmett were saying like, it doesn't really feel like it happened. Like, I think it's just too emotional to for me to describe what I'm feeling right now, like everything. Oh, I don't know. What I do know is that I fucking love this sport so much. And I love everything about slope style. It was a tough course, tough conditions. Really hard to lay down a run and be consistent throughout the whole course with this amount of practice we had. But I'm so happy that I managed to pull through and go home with this. I mean, I can't say much more. Like, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm, 
I'm beyond happy. Like it, it's hitting me right now. It's I'm, I'm getting like motions there <laughs> and, and and the ice and stuff. So I'll cut you and say that I fucking love you guys. I love this sport. Uh, yeah. Just wanted. Just wanted one minute with the guy, and he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> ACL, go! Sweet. We're both drunk. Hell, I'm so jävla shit-faced, alltså.